Parenthood has many joys, but a dirty diaper isn't one of them. And that's why we have disposable diapers. They were first introduced in the 1940s for travel use. It took several years for the idea to catch on, but when it did, diaper duty was never the same. Many would say disposable diapers represent a change for the better, helping parents make the best of a messy business. They start with superabsorbent polymer particles, which drop into a forming chamber. Pulp unwinds into the same chamber. A spray of water helps suppress any static electricity that could interfere with processing. Inside, the pulp mixes with the polymer particles. The result is this fluffy absorbent material that will be the diaper core. This rotating drum has a vacuum that shapes the fluffy material into padding. Another vacuum drum then merges the padding to a moving web of fabric. Guides fold the fabric around the padding and a hot adhesive seals it. At this debulking station, rollers compress the padding, making the diaper core slim enough to comfortably fit a baby. A cylindrical cutter slices the diaper core to size. At another station, plastic film winds around guides and merges with another stream of fabric. Machinery glues the layers together to form the diaper's backside. Next, equipment pulls elastic bands into other layers of fabric to make leg cuffs and outer gathers on the top portion of the diaper. The elastic will ensure the diaper fits snugly, preventing leaks. Each diaper will be equipped with a set of these front tabs punched out by this rotating die. This cylinder applies stretch side panels to the top part of the diaper, which has the leg cuffs and gathers. The absorbent core now meets up with the back side of the diaper, and then the other layers come together and adhere. A computerized system monitors the assembly. Incredibly, it takes less than a quarter of a second for all the layers of a disposable diaper to be assembled. The diapers now travel past guides that fold down the tabs and side panels. The diapers are then cut into individual units. Again, belted rollers compress the completed diapers. Paddles then fold them in half. Conveyor belts relay the folded diapers to a carousel. Finger paddles separate them and position them for packaging. Sensors count the diapers as they move towards compression arms that squeeze the required number together. A pusher swoops in to slide the diapers into a bag. Vacuum arms open the bags right on cue. Hot bars seal the package full of diapers. It then moves down the line to be packed into boxes for shipping. Each disposable diaper has a phenomenal capacity to absorb liquid and the key is those polymer particles. They act as tiny gel sponges, expanding to hold many times their weight in fluid. Cut open a wet diaper and you'll discover the liquid has turned the solid particles into gel. The proof is in the weighing. For example, this dry diaper comes in at about 45 and a half grams. When it's wet, it weighs over 510 grams. And that's the bottom line. <laughs>